sports game from the 1993 Ostend Open. In case you're not aware of the geography, Ostend is in Belgium. His opponent, Alexei Barsov. And we have e4, e6, a French defense. d4, the normal variation, d5. This time, instead of the Tarash, we get a classical variation, knight f6. e5 is Steinitz's variation. The knight retreats over to d7. f4, c5. Knight f3, knight c6. Bishop e3 is Isaac Boleslavsky's variation. a6, queen d2. And Barsov departs from the opening book and plays pawn captures on d4. The more popular move is b5. That line continues with d takes c5, bishop takes pawn, bishop takes the bishop, knight takes the bishop, queen to f2, queen to b6, um, bishop to d3, pawn to b4, knight to e2, pawn to a5, Kingside castle, bishop a6, king h1, knight to e7, queen's rook to d1, knight to a4, queen takes the queen, knight takes the queen, and pawn to b3. It is quite a lengthy line, but the most popular one. Sasso the king has followed. Thank you for following Sasso, the king. In this game, Barsov goes with pawn takes d4. Knight takes the pawn, bishop c5. Queen side castles, king side castles. h4, queen c7. More common is knight takes knight. Followed by bishop takes knight, b5, rook h3, b4, knight to not e2 like in the other line, but a4. Compelling bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, pawn a5, bishop b5, rook b8, bishop back to d3, and then queen c7 lining up with the white monarch. Instead, Barsov plays queen c7 right here. Rook h3, more frequent, is king b1. Now knight takes on d4, bishop takes the knight b5, king b1, and bishop b7. b4 is slightly more popular upon which white will play knight a4 again here, forcing the trade. And then black will either play a5 or bishop, uh, excuse me, rook to b8. Instead, Barsov with bishop b7, h5, king's rook c8, pawn g4. This is the first unique position in my database. And the position is relatively equal here. Rook c1 has been played from this position, but has not achieved any success. g4 by Lao. b4 hitting the knight. Knight e2, bishop retreats to f8, g5, a5, g6. White wants to get f5 into play. 
But F takes the G6 pawn. H takes the G6. A solid alternate to F takes G6 is knight to C C5. Lil Mig says, I'm donating $1,000 one day. Remember that. Have a nice day. I will remember that. I appreciate that sentiment. I will be extremely grateful to receive that donation. And I'll be happy to extend you many, many lessons as my expression of appreciation for such an enormous donation. What did I see the other day that got a, um, well, I say the other day, it was, it was quite a few months now, got like a $10,000 donation. The guy about had a coronary, though. That was unbelievable. But uh, I appreciate that. It will be received with much gratitude, appreciation, and thanksgiving. Pawn takes, the F man takes the G man. H takes G, H6. Rook to E3, Knight to C5. To page 3. And now, Bishop takes Knight would be winning because the Queen, the Knight is defending the um, Pawn so if I take here, no matter how you take, whether the queen or the bishop, we have this fork and be played. Hello, Paxum, 1771. Our first ever subscriber to the channel. Rook a6 defends the e-man. Knight g3 was played, although f5 seems stronger to me. Knight is going well. You're catching the end of the stream right now. Just finishing up the last game of the evening, demonstrating the games that we selected from Ralph Lau, today's Grandmaster. 1987 German chess champion, Ralph Lau. So knight g3 was played, a4, bishop e7 should be considered here to keep the balance. Um, a4 was played, rook c1, again, f5 would have been a good move here. Rook c1, rook c6, and again f5 stays ahead here as well. But not queen takes pawn, because then knight b3 can be played. What a lovely move that would be. And you can't take it with the pawn, because you're losing your queen. You can't take it with the pawn because you're losing your queen. You just have to save your queen. But where can you put your queen? If you play queen back to D to E1, then there goes the bishop. So don't take that free looking pawn. Um, bishop to g2, however, is not the best move. He should have just stuck with f5 in this position. Bishop g2 was played. b3, of course, wants to capture here with check. Rook c3, instead he decides to capture here with check. Iakovoska has followed. Iakovoska. Iakovoska has followed. 
King a1, a3. Again, bishop e7 might have been preferable. And then rook takes the pawn. It's actually better to leave that pawn there and play here. And these two guys become a impenetrable fortress behind which the king can find refuge. Instead, rook takes the pawn on a3. Knight to e4, forcing knight takes knight. Bishop takes the rook. Knight to f6, check. Do not play pawn takes and allow pawn takes, and these two pawns are monsters. So king h8 must be played. c3. But now bishop c5 brings out your friend and mine, Captain Blunderpants. Oh boy. He should have gone ahead and played Bishop takes the pawn with check. And after Queen takes, you've got some good attacking chances, and Black is completely equal here, if not maybe. A tiny smidge better. Bishop c5 brings out Captain Blunderpants. He played rook h1. I've been dying for him to play f5 here, but rook h1. Um, Bishop takes c5 now is a strong threat. But, uh, okay, queen e7, f5 finally taken. And now rook takes the pawn would be fatal, lethal, killing. Take your pick. Queen f8, knight d7. Uh, knight d7, is that really the best choice? Looking at knight g4. Yeah, knight d7's interesting. A hit on this queen. Queen took the f pawn. Bishop to e4. What a powerhouse move this was. Bishop to e4, ladles and jelly spoons. What a move. What a move. Just, he's got everything hanging here, and yet. Well, the point is this. Obviously, if you take the bishop, I've got rook takes h6. And if you take that rook, you are mated, my friend. In g8, queen h7, check mate. And uh, yeah, same if you take with the queen. Doesn't really matter how you take this. You are mated. The only thing you can do is give your queen away to deflect the rook away from the um, mating attack. And, uh, well, once you're down that material, you might as well have resigned. So he did resign. Let's put it in a computator and see one of many possible continuations. Okay, and the computer did give away his queen and offers up the bishop to boot. Kind of hilarious what a computer will do to prolong the game. By the way, Canty viewers, if you are interested in lessons, if you're a beginner or an intermediate player, you can find out, just email me right there. And um, we can get you set up. 